If we extend the side of a triangle, the angle created between the extended side and the next side of the triangle is called an exterior angle. A triangle therefore has three interior angles and three exterior angles. The exterior angles are formed, formed by extending each side, moving either in a clockwise direction or an anticlockwise direction. In this triangle, D is an exterior angle and A, B and C are interior angles. We refer to angles A and B as the interior opposite angles since they are opposite to the exterior angle D. We already know that the sum of the interior angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. That is, A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. We also know that D plus C is equal to 180 degrees as D and C lie on a straight line. Therefore, a plus B plus C is equal to D plus C, which is equal to 180 degrees, or the sum of A plus B plus C is equal to D plus C. Subtracting C from each side of the equation, we now have the sum of A plus B is equal to D. We can now state a general rule connecting the exterior of a triangle and the interior opposite angles of a triangle, which is called the exterior angle theorem. The exterior angle theorem states that the measure of the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measure of the two interior opposite angles. In this example, with triangle PQR, we have to calculate the measure of the exterior angle at R. We know that angle PQR is equal to 45 degrees and angle QPR is equal to 72 degrees. The exterior angle at R, which is angle PRS, is equal to the sum of the two interior angles at P and at Q. Therefore, PRS is equal to 45 degrees plus 72 degrees. Therefore, angle PRS is equal to 117 degrees.